Where have I been? Oh, I don't know. Probably wasting time on my phone. I'm also sewing up some rayon spandex that I don't like, and none of my machines like it. I posted about this on Instagram, and I wanna thank all the people who said, get out your walking foot and try it. I always forget the walking foot, and it is really helping. I'm doing a little bit of top stitching on the hem, and then I'm gonna call that one finished. The top stitching on the neckline is comically bad, and yet the entire pattern I'm deeming silly. And you'll see it in makes next week. It's got a very odd fit, and I don't anticipate that this top is going to get a whole lot of wear, so I did not redo the comical top stitching. But for my hem, I'm using the walking foot and it's going a whole lot better. Show, tell, give. I'm gonna show you some treasures, tell you all about them, and I'm gonna give something away. And let's just kick off the video with what I'm giving away. We will cut to the chase. You guys might remember this beautiful lace fabric from Metro Textiles. Kashi sent me this in a very generous box full of fabric. And he wanted to bring attention to his shop. You know, he's one of the last, last man standing in the garment district of New York City. His shop, Metro Textiles, is still there and we wanna keep it going. Now this gorgeous, Vivid aqua blue lace. Can you see it up close? It's got beautiful texture and there's a very lavish amount here. I have three yards of this fabric. It's got a scalloped edge that you could definitely incorporate into your project. If you would love to be the owner of this very lush, posh, I heard it described as Goupier lace. Now, um, there was a little bit of maybe objection to calling it that. I'm not the expert, I do not know. Whatever it is, it's beautiful. And I am offering it to my viewers in a random draw giveaway. Like I say, three yards so you can go crazy and make something maybe more than one thing. There's the salvage up close. And yes, this is the Viv Mom give away for this video. How do you enter? You comment below, and if you'd like, tell me if you're a small, medium, large, because I will throw in some patterns if you are the lucky winner. And I'm not necessarily saying they would be perfect to go with this lace. This is non-stretch. It does not have stretch either direction, but boy, is it glorious. And if you love that color, it is fully saturated. Blue, 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 azure blue. I mean, it is really, really pretty. So comment. Tell me if you are small, medium, and or large, if you'd like to. You don't have to. Just say anything. Just say hi, have a nice day, and then you will be entered. I will do a random drawing, and I will announce the winner a week from today. So that'll be next Wednesday. And good luck, because this is beautiful. Moving on, that was give. Moving on to show and tell. I was very excited when I brought in the mail the other day. Now this says Prime all over it, but this did not come from Amazon. This came from eBay. <gasps> Look at this. This is a Vogue counter book, one of the thick ones, and it is absolutely stuffed with fashion all kinds. Now, it says on the front, Winter Holiday 2020. So it's very current. Um, 
and I don't know where it came from. It says 30% off. Maybe that's a Joanne find, but I paid $13 for this book and I am so excited because you know I sit down and I page through my books a lot. Let's just leave it at a lot. So there are all those nifty patterns, lots of designer. I wonder if they, if Something Delightful, which now owns all of the pattern companies, the big four, big five, big six, big seven, I wonder if they're doing away with Very Easy Vogue. They don't really have that category, although some of the new releases are designated very easy, I don't see them highlighting that as a category. And I think that's gonna be a really big loss if they're doing away with very easy Vogue. And in fact, in this catalog, I do not see very easy Vogue. That's pretty much all I sew in Vogue are the very easies, and they're not always that easy. But uh, this was my latest acquisition in my catalog counter book library, and I'm pretty thrilled with that. Now, I had a spontaneous trip up to Sinking Spring, Pennsylvania with my erstwhile driver, Colin. We have my other son, Graham's car on loan for several weeks while he does work on Brad's car. Graham is a master mechanic, and boy, is that lovely to have in the family. So he is doing the brakes and fixing all kinds of things that are wrong on Brad's Mazda Speed 3, and we have his Mazda 6 wagon that he lowered. I am told this is highly desirable in a collectible car market to have a lowered car Frankly, I don't get it. I think you scrape everything when the car is lowered, but I clearly know nothing. So Colin just flipped for Graham's car, and he said, I want to go places. I will drive people anywhere they want to go. Mom, how about a trip to Pennsylvania? Now, if you think I'm going to turn that down, you don't know me very well. So that came about um, Monday. We drove up. That's about a three-hour drive from us, perfect for a day trip, and Fabric Mart did not disappoint. Now, this is a really cute crepe. It's a crepe de chine. It's not terribly sheer. I love the faded salmon pink, and I love the elephants on it. So it's got kind of this wide stripe, uh, selvage to selvage. It's not terribly wide, but um, I will do the stripes horizontally, and I'm thinking a peasant blouse out of that crepe. Now, this is just an assortment. I just grabbed some of the more eye-catching picks. I got lots of solids. I got some very nice cotton interlock knits, and I figured the solid colors aren't maybe that exciting on camera, but boy, I stocked up. And I told my pals up there, I said, listen, this is my last hurrah before winter, so naturally, I really need to stock up. Here is a rayon chalet in hunter green, also with a wide stripe. Florals, fall colors, and it's being rayon chalet, it's got that beautiful, beautiful drape. So that's going to be, I don't know, a dress. There was another cut in here that I told Lisa I pictured a shirt dress out of it. So it wasn't this, it's coming up. Let me see if I can pick it out and show it to you because I just fell in love with it. Here it is, oops. This is also a hunter green, and it's just such a pretty floral. I love the fall colors. I think of hunter green as being a fall color. And this is what I had in mind for a shirt dress. And Lisa, who is one of the owners of Fabric Mart, she really liked that idea. 
and she was so very kind to me. She, she just thanked me for giving Fabric Mart a lot of exposure, and I said, oh my, it's a match made in heaven because I love that store. So here it is. I just noticed there's some lemons on it too. And this is a cotton lawn, so there's no stretch. It's a little heavier than a voile, but it is a light cotton and it's nice and wide, much wider than a quilting cotton. This is a beautiful jacquard. This is heavy. And at first I thought it might um, have linen in it and it very well could. When you shop in the store at Fabric Mart, the storefront, the bolts are not, they don't list, you know, the ingredients of the fabric on the bolts. So you just kind of have to guess, but this had such a pretty texture to it. And I got a whole, whole bunch of it. Lisa is quite generous to me. And I'm thinking maxi dress for sure. Here's a real pretty stretch crepe with paisleys. And the back of this, yes, it is black. And those paisleys are kind of big. We've got purple, we've got dark green, we've got blue and white. And like I say, it is stretch. It's quite bouncy and it has a crepe texture. So that had to come home with me. Next up is, I'm not sure what this is. And I might have shown this to you before. Um, this was from a previous trip up there. This has some stretch in it. I love the print, I love the colors. And I wanted to make something with a gathered empire waist, but I don't wanna make the mistake that I made with my party skirt. And that was choosing a gathered pattern for a very heavy fabric. This isn't as heavy as that party dress was or that party fabric, but it is pretty heavy. So I'm not sure about the gathering aspect, but I just flipped for that one. This is a jacquard. I don't have a whole lot of it, but I was thinking a little cropped top would be so pretty. It has kind of a shine to it with the silver threads. And I tossed it in the washing machine and it came out just beautifully. I could also use the other side, maybe the sleeves out of this side and the body of the top out of that. No stretch in that. Reminds me a little bit of upholstery. So pretty. Here is a border print in dark brown with green. Now what I did was I just grabbed a bunch of stuff from my recent trips to Fabric Mart. I actually have gone twice in September. Pinch me. So I hope I haven't trotted these out before, but here is a stretch cotton sateen border print and I'll show you the little bit of stretch in it. I believe they put about 3% stretch, so it's not a ton, but it certainly helps when you're fitting something. So that's a pretty border print. Here is a gorgeous rayon chalet in a deep wine and turquoise and white colorway. I have lots of this. I'm thinking some kind of full dress. And again, maybe for fall, winter, so long sleeve. This one's pretty interesting. I'll tell you why. It's a very pretty stretch cotton sateen border print again. And I had some of this. And you know where I got it? I got it at Mood. I paid $16.99 a yard for it. I was splurging because it was a mood order. Then I get up to Fabric Mart and there it is, the exact, I mean exact same. If I have it down here, yep, I do. I'm gonna pull it out and show you that it is identical. 
There's that. There's that. They are the same. This one has been washed. Looks like it might be a little bit lighter. Maybe, maybe not. At any rate, $16.99 a yard. $1.99 a yard. Well, I bought more because I thought I could make a really cute top out of this and add cigarette pants out of this for a matching set. What do you think? And it's got that little bit of stretch in it. It's a beautiful, beautiful sateen. It's very weighty. The back of it is white, as you can see. And ooh, those colors are gorgeous. So I think that that's all I'll show you for now. Got my new book, my new Vogue catalog that I'm thrilled about. I'm gonna be coming back next week with makes. Can you believe how fast these months go by? I'll have makes next week and I am sewing away. We've got gorgeous, gorgeous fall weather. We're just in that little, that little sweet spot of weather in Virginia when it is downright perfect. Sleeping with the windows wide open and a chilly, soft breeze at night. Oh my gosh, fabulous. So I'm also doing a lot of cooking. Brad went camping last weekend and I made food for his camping trip. And um, I love to cook when the temperatures get a little bit cooler. Uh, but yeah, we are sliding into much colder weather, so I'm going to have to make some warmer clothes. Ooh, I have one more thing to show you. Speaking of warmer clothes, hang on. I couldn't believe I found this at Fabric Mart in the storefront, so it cost almost nothing. And it is a super chunky, heavy, heavy sweater knit. Okay, here is the reverse side. Here is this loopy, soft front side. Lisa gave me a lot. I think she gave me five yards. And I am going to make a sweater coat. I'm excited about this. I'm looking for just the right pattern. And this is beautiful. I hope it's not too heavy for my machines. But if it is, I'll just get out one of my Kenmores because they sew over anything, I am convinced. So this was a very, very exciting purchase for me and gets me excited a little bit about cooler weather. You know, I love sunshine and heat, but uh, summer is leaving us. Summer has left. Farewell, summer. <laughs> now we must turn our sights to fall is beautiful, winter, eh. You know, I don't really like a whole lot of foot gear. I, I like going barefoot most of the time. But anyway, leave me a comment. If you want to win this gorgeous lace from Metro Textiles, be sure to say something in the comments and you will be entered in the drawing. It will be a random drawing. I wish you good luck and I hope you're having a wonderful week. See you soon. Bye-bye.